Hello, boys and girls. I'm the famous or infamous American legend. I've been playing this game since February 2017 with almost 10,000 hours of gameplay, and yes, it's the only game I play. I'm going to do a short review on this Rev and Tully map, and it's going to be short. That's how much I care about it. Like every other map that comes out with the big hype and then gets replaced by a newer map with the newer hype, this map will be like any other. This Revon Tully map, in my opinion, is a piece of caca, and I'll tell you why. The idea of this map was to make it a bird hunting map. That is, you are able to find one close enough to shoot, and that's where the main problem is. Let me sum it up real quick. The birds fly too far away from you. When you set up your decoys and you start to call them, they never land next to your decoys. The other smaller birds, you can't see them when they are at but you always hear them flying away and when you're able to spot one or two, you raise up your gun or shotgun, they're already a mile away. They replace the tool replacement function with a spinning wheel that is very confusing only to cater to the console players. They created 20 different duck colors that you don't know which one works with whom and to top it off, you can't place them all on the tool selection wheel because there's not enough space there. This map is overrun with moose and whitetails. And it seems that this is all you see. We already have these animals on the other maps. And I can continue on and on and on. The so-called official Call of Wild content creators will tell you that this is the best map of all because of course they're getting paid under the table by expansive worlds, the creators of this game, and heaven forbid if they go against them and lose their favorite sun status. So overall, from 1 to 10, I'll give a rating of 6 to this map, and I'm being generous. Bye-bye now.